today so as you can see from here um, this is used to measure the length of the cables or to determine where the the locations of the shorted defects, defects. so at first uh, we need to find what is the BOP which is stands for velocity of propagations which you can see from here so when you flip back you're able to see the BOP so you need to check the cables uh, manufacturers so you need to set the VOP according to the type of the cables. So how do we do it? We first need to on the machines. And after that we can go to the menu by pressing here. Okay. okay, so as you can see from this cable is RG6U. So come back here. And you can see the it can go up. Check the cables. You can see RG6 has 82% of VOP, which is 82. Hmm. Then we can go back. And set the VOP here. So it's, you can go up and down. It's already at 82, so you can leave it there. You can go back and you can plug in the cables. Now, so we are going to demonstrate the normal cable for you, the coaxial one. So you con uh, connect the end of the cable to this port and what zoom zoom out this to see another protruding uh, positive amplitude in the graph. So to, to determine the distance of the cable, the distance of this bulk of cable over here is to determine the, the distance of this bulk of the cable over here <laughs> you have to con uh, you get the distance from this the crest of the first amplitude to the crest of the next amplitude which shows around and the distance will be around 21.63 yeah, and this is how you read the distance of the cable. Uh, moving on, we are now looking at uh, we are now looking at the defect in the wire. As you can see from here, this wire has been short circuited. It's to simulate the damage occurring inside an aircraft cable. Okay, now I'll be plugging this inside. As you can see from here, there is a negative amplitude. This shows a short circuit to find the exact distance of the of the defect location. The, the lines must match up from the crest to the trial of the second amplitude thing. Then as you can see from here, the 7.56 meters or 24.8 feet is where the defect is from the start of the cable Alright, so moving on I'll be, just, uh, I'll be demonstrating the virtual infinite length cables so at first I'll connect these cables coax cables on these refractometers Okay, I'm link Alright, so as you can see from here, it has 0.75 meters. Now I'm gonna 7.75 meters. So now I'm gonna add 
there's components which um, acts as an antenna which has a terminating impedance. So now we look at the graph carefully when I connect it to these components. Now, this wave has been gone. So from here, you can see that this, this wire has an infinite length.